this is Maggie from maggiescrochet.com. This is pattern number FP344, which is an angel ornament. This It's called a raffia angel ornament because this was originally done in raffia, but I'm going to show you how to do this in a worsted white yarn. Today is October 7th, 2012, and for the next three weeks we are going to be doing a... Um, call for angels to decorate a tree for the Brenner's Children's Hospital in Winston-Salem, North Carolina. So um, part of the reason why I'm doing this video is to encourage people to send the angels in. Um, we've got till November 1st to get the angels in here and then we're going to decorate the tree. So let's get started. Like I said, I'm going to use a worsted weight yarn and a and I'm using a tulip etimo hook which is a size H8 or a five millimeter so I start with a slip knot and for it you start at the head and it says starting at center chain three so I'm gonna do one two three and 10 half double crochets in the third chain from hook. So there's one, two, and three. So I'm going to yarn over and then draw through all three. So I need 10. For the angels, I want to have them all be white. And if you want to put a trim on them or a contrasting color, it could be light blue or gold because I designed a blue tree skirt with white angels and then the treetop I thought we would do a white um, treetop angel with gold trim. So here is the beginning um, chain three which is counting as a double crochet so there's one no it's counting as a um, half double crochet so 10, no, we're skipping that, I'm sorry. So it says in the directions, the directions are correct. It says starting at center chain three, 10 half double crochets in the third chain from hook, join with a slip stitch to the first half double crochet. So you're kind of ignoring this. So when you count, you ignore this, the chain, and you count right here, the, the post of the half double crochet. So you count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I'm going to skip the chain, act like it's not even there, and I'm going to slip stitch right here for the head. See, you don't even see that beginning chain when you do that. And then it says to chain four, two, three, four, and slip stitch in the next half double crochet five times. And these are for the loops around the head. Eh. One, two, three, four. They make like the crown of the head. If you subscribe to our YouTube channel, then every time we put a new video up, you can get an email notice um, and it'll show you what the video is because I'm subscribed to some other channels and I get that. So then I go and look at what they've got new and we're going to be doing a lot of new ones. So um, that is the crown of the head and then it says do not finish off. And then it says slip stitch in the next two half double crochets. So I did that. So my last loop was there and then I slip stitch in two. And then it says chain four and it's count, gonna count as the first double crochet and chain one. And then it says half double crochet chain one twice in the same see how to twice in the same stitch okay I did that um, 
and then half double crochet, chain one twice, and double crochet in the next one. So I'm going to do half, chain one, half. So it's going to basically match the other side. See how I have a double and a chain one here, and then I've got two halves, and everything's separated by a chain one. So chain one and a double right there. So that completes row one. So you can see how it's starting to take shape. So at the end of wing row one, we're going to chain five, which I have right here. I'm going to turn, you turn like the page of a book, and you half double crochet in the first double crochet, and then you chain two, and then you want a half double crochet, chain two, and half double crochet in the next one, and then you chain two, single crochet in the next ha half double crochet, chain one, and single crochet in the next one, chain two, half double crochet, chain two, and half double crochet, and then you chain two, and then the last one, you want a half double crochet, chain two, and double crochet in the last one. There. So that made all those increases, made the wings, made the row pucker out, spread out, so that the wings, so it'll form the wings. So you want to finish off here. And to do that, I chain one and then I tighten the back one there. And then I, I hold my yarn out like this and I cut in the back like that. So, and then I pull that there and I'll worry about my ends later. So then it says with right side facing, which is this side over here, this is the skirt part with, with right side facing, join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet of row two. So that makes it easy because you only have two single crochets here. And you want to join with a slip stitch. So I'm just going to go put this on my hook. And I'm going to go in here, drop a loop and draw it through here. And that's how I join with a slip stitch or you could go and do it like this. Stick your hook in. This is probably easier doing it this way. Bring this loop up through the stitch and chain one. And that would count as a slip stitch. So with right side facing, join with a slip stitch to the first single crochet of row two and chain four. So that could pretty much count for a chain four right there. So one, two, three, four. I just don't want it to be too long. So if I know that that looks like a chain four, that's what I'll count it as. So this counts as your first double crochet and chain one, and it says half double crochet in the same single crochet. So I'm going to half in there, and then I'm going to go um, do you wear double crochet? chain one, half double crochet, and chain one and double crochet in the next single crochet like that. So that's row one of the skirt. So then you chain four turn one, two, three, four. And you that counts as your first double on chain one and you have double crochet in the first double crochet. Oop. I'm going to bring that through there. And then you half double crochet in first double crochet and then chain one, half double crochet in next one across. Okay, I got this. Isn't that nice in a pattern when you finally figure it out and then you don't have to look at the pattern anymore and then like I got it. So this is a chain four, so I know that there's going to be a chain one that I skip here, and I'm going to work into here, and that's a half, chain one, and a double. 
and then the next row is the same thing so I'm going to chain four turn and I'm going to half double crochet in here chain one and then half double crochet here chain one half double crochet chain one half chain one Now on the end you want it to get a little fuller so you have an extra stitch in there. So you do a half double crochet, chain one, and a double on the last stitch. So see how the dress is starting to take shape? So then um, it says to chain four and turn one, two, three, four, and you slip stitch in the first double crochet, which is right here, and then you chain three, one, two, three, and you slip stitch in the next stitch seven times. So I just chain three, so I'm gonna slip, and then I split my yarn here. One, two, three, and then I'm going to slip stitch right here. One, two, three, and slip stitch right here. One, two, three, slip right here. One, two, three, slip here. One, two, three, slip right there. One, two, three, and then you're going to skip that chain of the turning chain right there, and then you're going to slip stitch in there. And then the directions say to chain three and slip stitch in the last stitch again, right there. And that made the bottom loops of the skirt, and then I'm going to chain one so I can finish off, and I'll pull that back loop. I'm going to pull this up. I'm going to cut from back here, right there. And then I just pull this out. And look at the cute little angel. Isn't she cute? She's adorable. But you can even, um, it's so easy on the pattern. You could add another um, row in here. Or you could keep her just the way she is. And then you just sew in all the ends. And um, maybe put a little bow. You could use a ribbon. Or for this one, I am just going to take two strands of yarn. Probably about six inches long, I think. I'm just going to try it. I hope this works. And then I'm going to kind of fold it in half and hold them together as one and just tie a bow with them. I could have done one strand or I could do a ribbon. Oh, I know. I know what I should have done here. See those two single crochets at the neck? You could just go like this and like this and bring that through like this and hold it up like this. So I am just tying a bow right there at the neck and then I don't have to worry about attaching it or anything. It's already there. So I'm going to do it like this. And it's kind of nice on the angel because she's got a long dress to do a little bit longer ends on the bow than what I did here. But there, that was just two strands of yarn. And that works out really good because it's centered there over the single crochets. So that's how you make the little um, angel ornament. And this is pattern number FP344, and it's available at maggiescrochet.com. Thank you very much for watching, 
and be sure to subscribe because you'll get notices when we put up all of our new videos.